It's time to forget everything you thought you knew about losing weight and discover the surprising power of protein. That's right, protein is not just for building muscle, it's also the key to sustainable weight loss. In this video, I'm going to reveal five surprising benefits of incorporating protein into your diet and how it can transform your body and help you reach your weight loss goals. Protein helps control your hunger in many ways. First, I want you to understand that muscle is your metabolic currency. It is a marker of longevity. The stronger and healthier your muscle is, the more improved your metabolism and overall health will be. Protein is the key nutrient in your food that supports your muscle. It helps to create and maintain the structure and function of all tissues, not only in your muscles, but in every single cell of your body. For example, strong hair, nails, and skin are also influenced by your protein intake. Protein also plays a role in immunity, hormonal balance, cellular repair and healing, detoxification, and mood. When it comes to weight loss, protein helps to control hunger and reduces your drive to overeat. Protein is harder to digest than carbs and fat, so it's gonna help to keep you fuller longer. A good bit of protein with some healthy fats will keep you full for hours. Think egg omelet for breakfast. Whereas carbs burn and store as fat much more easily, leaving you hungry quicker. Think cereal, skim milk, and a banana. This, by the way, is not a breakfast for champions. I was in the airport the other day for a really early morning flight and I saw a lot of folks eating Cinnabon. Although it smells, I know, so good, it's one of the worst things you can eat, especially in the morning. That big lump and bolus of carbohydrate and sugar in the morning will spike your blood sugar and then crash you, leaving you tired, hungry, and craving all day long, which will lead to overeating, not to mention the terrible heartburn it's gonna cause due to the amount of inflammation the body experiences after eating something like that. The best breakfast you can have would be instead something that includes protein and fat. So if you're traveling in the airport, maybe the egg bites from Starbucks. Protein also reduces cravings. Research shows that if you eat the same number of calories you do now, but increase the amount of those calories coming from protein, you may use more energy and lose some weight as a result. Making the switch alone probably won't result in huge weight loss results, but you will see benefits with less hunger, reduced cravings, and the need to eat less snacks through the day. Plus, the body finds it harder to store protein as fat. So by eating a diet with much more protein, you're gonna find that your body stores less fat over time. Protein also helps build muscle, which influences your longevity, like I said earlier. Adequate protein consumption is essential when building muscle, which should be your goal and a focus for you. When you match protein intake with resistance exercise like lifting weights, you'll notice better recovery and more strength with increased muscle definition, something that most of us want. With more active muscles, you'll have a speedier metabolism, better blood glucose control, and more likely improved blood pressure and even cholesterol. So eat your protein and lift something heavy. Animal protein gives you the most bang for your buck. If you're open to consuming animal protein, this is gonna be your best bet. Animal protein is better absorbed and the body can use much more of it compared to plant protein. And I know a lot of people like the idea of us thriving on plant protein, but at least right now, the way our bodies function, the vast majority of us do better with animal protein sources. The reason why is because this type of protein are the highest in the most important types of amino acids. Specifically, these are methionine, lysine, and leucine. If you're vegetarian and open to eating eggs and dairy, and if you're very steadfast in eating these, you can fulfill your needs. If you're vegan, it's even more difficult. Your options will be extremely limited and you'll need to eat more plant protein to fill your needs, which leads to usually more calories and often more carbs. And it makes weight loss for those with a dysfunctional metabolism specifically really difficult. You'll also likely need to supplement to avoid specific deficiencies. So in general, if you're open to animal protein, go for it. Aim for about 25 to 60 grams of protein at a given time, depending on your body size and your goals. If you're a woman and petite, then you're gonna be in the smaller range. If you're losing weight, it might be even a bit less. 
if you're a bodybuilder wanting to put on a ton of muscle, then you're gonna be on the higher end. Many small meals is also not ideal, so don't dribble out your protein throughout the day. You in general want to aim for three small meals and perhaps one small meal uh, protein-based in the afternoon. In general, you also wanna aim for about 0.8 grams of protein per pound ideal body weight. This may be a little bit less if weight loss is the goal and a little bit more if you're maintaining weight loss and building muscle. Just in general, I want you to make sure to customize the amount of protein that you're getting to fit your goals. If you need help customizing the amount of protein that you need throughout the day to drop weight sustainably and efficiently, and also then be able to maintain your muscle mass, reach out to us at PhD. Give us a call and we'll get you scheduled with one of our nutritionists and we'll go through everything that we do and help to create a customized meal plan where you're getting adequate protein so you can drop the fat weight and not the muscle. Protein is also really important for kids. In general, our kids are getting way too many carbs, too much sugar, and not enough protein. Try to give your kids and grandkids a snack that contains at least 10 grams of protein. Now, if you're going to get all of your protein from plants, we talked about a little bit earlier, you've gotta be very involved in what and how much you eat. It's not impossible, but it's pretty darn tricky to get your body all that it's needed through plants if that's all you eat. A vegan and vegetarian diet has gotten a lot of good rap and have a connotation of being healthy when for most folks, it's just not a better choice. These diets don't naturally result in weight loss any more than a meat-based diet. If you need to follow a vegan or vegetarian diet, you need to eat at least 120 grams of protein per day because you only absorb 69% of that protein. Also, often these proteins are paired with more carbs and more calories like I mentioned earlier. So it's difficult to get enough when you're really trying to drop excess stubborn body fat. A quick side note about how cows and other ruminant animals get away with just eating grass yet still grow those strong muscles is that the cows and these animals, their gut contains bacteria that upcycle the grass they eat into high quality protein. So in simple terms, they can take that grass and turn it into protein of steak-like quality. As humans, we just don't have that capacity. I wanna share with you some common foods that we often think are good protein sources that really aren't. These include beans, nuts and seeds, oats, protein balls, cookies, peanut butter. You would have to eat three and three-fourths cups of beans to get an equivalent of eight ounces of protein. When you take into account that you only absorb 69% of the protein from these beans, you would actually have to eat five cups of beans to get the amount of protein in eight ounces of meat. Oh my gosh, if my husband tried to do that, we would have to um, sleep in different rooms. <laughs> Now I wanna share with you some foods that are high in protein. So any kind of animal protein like chicken, beef, pork, tuna, some on the go items could be beef jerky, deli meat, beef sticks, carnivore crisps are really tasty, plain full fat Greek yogurt when you could put berries, nuts and seeds on there, protein bars and protein powders are good, but be careful that the protein bar actually has a good amount of protein and not a ton of carbs like a Cliff Bar and a Lara Bar. Those are options that want to stay on the shelf. Other quick snacks could be prepared meals from, I like icon meals, or even just a quick rotisserie chicken. Some meal ideas that you could cook up for breakfast might be omelet, scramble, frittatas, Greek yogurt, like I said, but plain full fat because the flavored varieties have just as much sugar as ice cream. Other meal examples for lunch and dinner, they can be very similar to one another, but it might be fish with veggies or a bunless burger or a steak and asparagus, or my favorite is a wedge salad with steak or salmon on the side. The options are really endless. Oh my gosh, you have learned so much about the power of protein for weight loss. But what about after you reached your desired weight? How do you maintain it? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'll share with you here my video on the seven simple and effective ways to maintain your desired weight to keep the pounds off for good. See you there.